Hello everyone, my name is Jason, and welcome to another episode of Show and Tell with Jason. The first two episodes I talked about two of my drums. This time I'm not going to talk about a musical instrument, but it is still something that has to do with music. I'm going to talk about records and record players and show you some examples of each. First, you might think, what is a record? Maybe you have seen one of these, or maybe not. This is the, the cover, and this is a sleeve. And inside is this plastic disc. It's floppy, like that. And if you look closely, it has lines that go in circles all around it. And those are called grooves. And each groove has tiny little bumps in it. And when you put a needle on top of it, the needle will, the bumps will vibrate the needle and it will send, the vibrations will go through the needle and they'll turn into electricity and then come out speakers. I will show you in a little bit how you can make your own simple record player at home using materials that you probably have and all you would need is just a record. This is what a record looks like up close in a little bit better light. Hopefully you can see the lines a little bit better. Oh, hey, Jason. What you doing? Oh, hey, Hadley. I'm just telling my friends about records and record players. Oh, I like listening to records. Can I come too? Well, sh sure. You listen to records? Well, sure, I do. How do you put them on the record player? Well, Bart helps me, of course. <sighs> Sometimes, Jason. Okay, Hadley. In just a second here, I'm going to show you a few of my records, and then we're going to go upstairs to the kitchen, and I will show you how to make a simple record player for yourself. So, on we go. I'm sorry the light's not so great, but here is one of my shelves full of records. I grew up listening to records, and then I stopped for a while because we had cassettes and CDs and then I got into records again because I remembered loving listening to them so much. Here we are in my kitchen and I am going to show you what you need to make a very simple record player right here at home. Hi Scrap. How's it going? So you need a needle, any sewing needle will do, and by the way kids, make sure you ask before getting needles out, and a piece of paper, any piece of paper will do, and then a penny to weight it down. Of course you need a record, so I have my record here, and then a pencil to put in the record to make it spin. And I, I had to kind of mess around with this a little bit. Um, I have here, uh, it's, it's two clamps, and this is a piece from a, uh, a ratchet, um, what are those called? It's a ratchet set. Just a ratchet, that's it? Yeah. I don't know a lot about tools. <laughs> but it's a ratchet set because it's the right size for, for the, the tip of the pencil. But honestly, anything you can find that just gives you a way to spin the record works. And also, if you want, you can bring a friend too, like Hadley. So, what you do is you take the paper and you just kind of make a cone out of it. And you try to make it as tight as you can down at this end. <clears throat> oh, sorry, I'll go this way. So you have a surface like that. And then really it doesn't, you don't have to, it doesn't have to stay open. You can just kind of crumple it like this, just kind of squish it even. And then you take the needle and very carefully you poke it through. If you can have a few layers, it'll stick a little bit better. And then watch this, okay? When you hold the paper, the, the, vibrating, the vibration of the needle, you hear that? Now if I take the needle out and flick it, 
nothing, right? So what, what's happening here is the, the needle is vibrating and the paper, the needle is vibrating the paper and it's creating sound waves, which then the cone amplifies. Pretty cool, huh? So I have a slightly better version over here that I made. And I will have to say that I, you know, this is maybe not the best way to do this. I had to kind of experiment a little bit, but it will just give you an idea of what it's supposed to sound like. So you just kind of want to, let me, let me see if I can turn the sound towards you guys. Spin, spin the record, it goes like this. Let's see if I can get sound to come out. Pardon, pardon me, Hadley, do you mind scooching back there a little bit? I'll just scoot you back there, over there. I don't want to bump you with my... All right, let's see. All right, here we go. Ready? Moment of truth. That's what you call variable RPMs. <laughs> Now uh, one note, oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, the penny, <laughs> put the penny in there because you want to weight it down because if, the, if it's too light, the needle won't put enough pressure on the groove. Make sure you choose a record that's just junk because this needle will ruin your record. On most record players, they act, the needle actually has a diamond tip to it. So. Sounds a little bit like music. There was my penny there. So anyway, that's how you can make a simple record player at home. Now, next I'm going to show you a very special record player that I have. It's called a Victrola, and it's basically what I just showed you, but fancier. And this was how record players were a long time ago, for a very long time, before electricity. So we're gonna do that next. All right, you gonna come? You coming, Hadley? All right. Hi there. I know I just promised you that I was going to take you to show you my Victrola, but after I was finished editing everything, the video ended up being quite a bit longer than I had anticipated, and I felt like it would be better to release it in two parts. So the bad news is that this video is to be continued, but the good news is that in three short days. The second part is going to be going up on our channel and you'll be able to see the Victrola and a more modern record player and it's definitely worth waiting for. So please like this video, make sure you subscribe. If you hit notifications, they'll let you know when the new video is released and you'll get to see the second part of this very, very exciting video about record players. It was a lot of fun making it, it took a long time, it was a lot of work but I hope you are enjoying it so far and that means that you have the next few days to find yourself a record and practice making better sound coming out of your homemade record player than I was able to make coming out of mine. <laughs> Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you next time. <laughs>